Hey yogis, welcome back to Yoga with Mike. My name is Mike. Today we're going through a beginner yoga class. So this will be great for you if you are someone who's new to yoga and you just want to give it a try. Or if you're someone who does other forms of exercise and just want to do yoga on the side, this will also be a really good class for you. We're going to stretch and strengthen the body in a pretty gentle way today. So I hope you enjoy. When you're ready, let's get started. Welcome, friends. When you're ready, meet me, Prana, and Kensho in child's pose. So we'll bring the knees about as wide as the edges of your mat, and then big toes are going to come to touch as you sit the hips back and drop the forehead down. Find stillness inside your body. Yoga is a little bit different from other forms of exercise in the sense that when you go to the gym, you might immediately start to do your bicep curls and get right into your workout. With yoga, we want to slow down before we start to speed up. So just start to settle your attention inside your body here. Take some deep breaths, and we want to try and breathe in and out through the nose the best that you can. It might feel a little bit weird at first. We tend to, most of us tend to breathe with our mouths more than the nose, so it takes some practice. But do your best to breathe in and out through the nose, breathing nice and deeply into the space around your belly button and the abdomen. And take two rounds of breath. See if you can feel the air as it comes in with the inhale and as it goes out with the exhale. Great. And from here, let's come into a tabletop position. So we'll rock forward, come onto your hands and your knees. We want the shoulders to be stacked above the wrists and the hips are above the knees. You can keep the toes tucked if you'd like or you can untuck them, your choice. We're going to start with some cat cows. So with an inhale, you're going to drop your belly down towards your mat and at the same time gaze up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, round your back, press your mat away and tuck your chin towards your chest. And we'll do that a couple more times. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, open through your throat. And as you exhale, round the spine, drop the head down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, gaze up. And exhale, round the back. And last time, inhale, roll the shoulders back, gaze up to the ceiling. And exhale, round the back. Good, and come back to a flat back. Those are really great to start to open up the spine and link the breath with some movements. From here, let's tuck the toes if they aren't tucked already. And go ahead and drop your hips back to your heels, straighten your arms, and then rock forwards. Shift your weight all the way towards the top of the mat. We'll do this a couple times, dropping the hips back and then coming forwards. And then you might start to link the breath with this movement. So inhale as you come forwards. Exhale as you drop the hips back. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale forwards. And exhale, hips back, getting a little stretch through the toes. And then inhale, just come back to center where we started. From here, inhale, reach the right arm forwards and kick the left leg behind you. So we're balancing on the left hand and the right knee here. 
Good. And really press through the left hand, start to activate the left arm. Straighten your back leg, your lifted leg, as much as you can here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, crunch together. So bring the elbow and the knee to touch. And we'll do that two more times. So inhale, open the arm, kick the leg back. And exhale, curl together, round the back. And one more time, inhale, extend. And exhale, bring everything together. Good, from here, lower the hand and the knee back down to the ground. Extend your left arm towards the top of your mat and kick your right leg back. And just hold here for a moment. Try and activate the core by pulling the belly button in towards the abdomen. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring the knee and the elbow to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come together. One last time, inhale. And exhale, crunch in. Good. Bring the hand down, bring the knee down. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze up towards your top hand and pause here. Work to open up through the right shoulder. Twist through the right side of your body. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to thread the right arm underneath the left arm, coming into a little shoulder stretch here, so you can bring your right ear down on the mat. And then if you want to go deeper, you can come onto the left fingertips and then gently press the left fingers or the left palm into the ground to open up a little bit more into the right shoulder. And soften here for one more breath. Good, and start to come back up. And we'll plant the palms about shoulder width distance on the ground. Inhale, open the left arm up to the ceiling. So really using the right arm to support you as you peel the left shoulder open, gazing up towards the left hand for three, two, one, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, thread the needle, so the left arm is going to come down to the ground. And again, you can adjust where the right hand is here. I like to bring it slightly forwards and come onto my right fingertips, but you can also stay with your right palm flat on the mat. And again, you can rest your left ear down on the ground here, relaxing the neck. Just breathing here. Take one more breath. Great. And then slowly start to come back up. Bring both hands back to the ground. All right, from here, we'll move into our first downward facing dog of the practice. Now, we'll keep the knees bent to start in this downward dog. So you may have seen downward facing dog before with the legs straight, but let's keep the knees bent to start off. And I want you to just focus on opening through your shoulders. So really relax your chest down towards your mat and soften into the shoulders here. You might feel a bit of a stretch in the middle of your back. And then once you feel like you've found that openness through the front of your body, go ahead and straighten your legs and you should feel a bit of a hamstring stretch and a stretch down through your calves, your ankles. We'll take a deep breath in here and then exhale out. Gaze between your hands and tiptoe your feet all the way towards the top of your mat. And we'll meet with feet about hips-width distance on the mat. Relax the head. 
and we'll come into ragdoll pose. So with your right hand, grab your left elbow. With your left hand, grab your right elbow. And then feel free to take a little bend in the knees. And this should feel pretty good in the back, in the shoulders. You can even add in some movement, maybe rock a little side to side. And take one more breath. And with your exhale this time, release your elbows. Let your hands come down in front of your toes on the mat. Inhale, we're going to take a halfway lift. So you can either keep your fingertips on the ground or you can press your palms into your shins and lengthen your spine forwards. And as you exhale full, drop your head, relax the backs of your legs. With your next inhale, rise all the way up to stand. So we're going to come into mountain pose. Extend the arms up. Press the palms together. And exhale, fold all the way back down to the ground. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, lengthen your spine. Lift your chest. Great. As you exhale, plant the palms, and we'll step back into downward facing dog. All right. Inhale. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, coming into a three-legged dog. And as you exhale, we're going to step the right foot all the way between the hands. So it might take a couple smaller steps to get it there. Once you have the foot there, drop your back knee down to the ground. Untuck your back toes. So this time we're going to come onto the top of the back foot. And with an inhale, reach the arms up to the ceiling, coming into Anjaneyasana. So work to really actively spread through the fingertips here. And then see if you can soften the hips down towards the ground. Lengthen the chest up towards the ceiling. Good. From here, lower the hands down towards the top of your mat. Go ahead and lift your back knee off of the ground, and we're going to plant the back foot at a 45 degree angle. So your back toes should be facing towards the top left corner of your mat. And then from here, straighten your front leg. We're in a little pyramid pose. If you have blocks, you can bring your hands to blocks on either side of your front foot, or you could even use some thick books if you have any at home. Otherwise, just keep the fingertips on the ground like I'm doing here. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and see if you can pull your right hip slightly backwards. And as you exhale, drop the head gently down towards the knee. Good, inhale, again, lengthen your spine, lift your chest up. And exhale, again, fold forward. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, soften the head down. And two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, relax into the back of your leg. Great. Inhale. Again, lift the chest. This time as you exhale, step your left foot to meet your right foot at the top of your mat. Inhale. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, plant the palms. Step back into a plank position. We'll hold here for about five breaths. You can always lower the knees in plank pose if you need to. But wherever you go, try and be active through the arms. Engage the whole front of your body, the core. About two more breaths. Good. Last breath here. And as you exhale this time, drop the knees down to the ground if they're still lifted, and then slowly bend the elbows to bring the chest all the way to the ground. Good. Untuck the toes. 
Inhale, just lift your chest off of the mat. Bhujangasana, cobra pose, little baby back bend here. Pull the palms back, scoop the chest forwards. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower the chest back down, press up onto the hands and the knees, and then roll back downward facing dog. Great job so far. Let's do the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the ceiling. And exhale, place your foot between your hands. Again, take your time getting the foot there. Once you have it, we'll drop the back knee down to the mat. Untuck the back toes. And inhale to reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Again, work to lengthen through the sides of your body. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling, but try and keep the shoulders relaxed. Take a couple breaths here. Soften the hips. One more breath. With your next exhale, go ahead and place your palms to plant top of your mat. Lift your back knee, plant your back foot flat on the ground. And again, the back toes are going to be pointing towards the top right corner of your mat. And again, you can have your fingertips on the blocks or just like I'm doing, hands on the ground. We'll straighten the left leg. We'll take five breaths. So inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften into the left leg as you fold forward. And inhale, wave the chest up. Exhale, fold. Do it three more times. Inhale, lengthen the back. Exhale, fold. Each time softening a little bit more into the back of the leg. Inhale up, exhale down. Last time, inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, fold forward. And inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend into the left knee, step your back foot all the way forwards. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, rise up to stand, mountain pose. Press the palms together. And exhale, relax your hands down towards your hips. All right, guys, we're going to take some sun salutations. I really like to do these in all of my yoga practices. They're very energizing and they really help to open up the body, especially the spine. So we'll start with an inhale as you reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Maybe press the palms together. And as you exhale, fold all the way down to the ground. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back into a high plank. And this time we'll move into a low plank. So we'll bend the elbows and you can lower the knees here or keep them lifted. Inhale, we'll take an upward facing dog. So lift your knees, straighten your arms, lift your chest. And as you exhale, roll over the toes back into downward facing dog. Good, and pause here. Take three breaths. One more breath. Gaze between your hands. Step your feet forwards. You can either bring your big toes together or you can keep the feet hips width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down towards your hips. So we're really flowing with the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up, create a straight line with the body. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant the palms, step back. We'll move right into that low plank position, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chin. And exhale, roll back, downward facing dog. Pause here, take two breaths. Good, gaze forward. Again, step the feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Stretch the fingers like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And exhale, lower the hands down. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Step back into your chaturanga. Inhale, straighten the arms into upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back downward facing dog. Pause here. Great job. Really love those sun salutations. I hope they feel as good in your body as they do in mine. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Good. This time, drop your back knee down to the ground. And you can keep your back toes tucked for this next position. So we're going to bring the right hand on top of the right thigh. And inhale, go ahead and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, we're going to twist the left elbow across the right knee. So try and get the elbow as far across the knee as you can. Don't force it. The elbow might be just on top of the knee today. That might be as far as you're able to go. Maybe you're able to get it across all the way. Either way, you can stay here with the right hand on the thigh or option to bring the right hand to press into the left hand. I'm going to do the opposite side so you can see it a little better. So option to come into this little prayer twist. Right, if you have that, stay here, or if you want to come one step further, option to lift your back knee off of the mat. We'll hold here, work to peel the top shoulder open for three. Use your breath, two, And one, good job. Drop your back knee down to the mat and we'll untwist here. Good. All right, I'm gonna switch sides again. So from here, plant your left hand flat on the mat. Bring your right hand on top of your right knee and then gently start to open your right knee towards the right side of the mat. So we're shifting the weight into the pinky toe side of the front foot, really opening the leg relaxing into it here. This is called a galaxy pose. Really nice hip opener. Breathe into the right hip. With each exhale, see if you can soften the hip a little bit more. Take one more deep breath. Good. And then we'll bring the right foot back to center and we'll plant the right hand down and take a big step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, place the foot between your hands, drop your back knee down. And again, you can keep the back toes on the mat here. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Bring your left hand on top of your thigh. And as you exhale, again, we'll come into our twist here. So the right elbow is going to hook as far across the left knee as you can get it. And again, no need to force it here. Just meet yourself wherever you're able to go. And you can keep the left hand on the thigh, or you can come into your prayer twist here. 
And then again, if you want to take it one step further, option to lift your back knee off of the ground. Breathe deeply into the abdomen for three. Gently peel the top shoulder open for two. Good, and one. If the back knee is lifted, go ahead and lower it back down and untwist. From here, plant the right hand flat on the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the left hand on top of the left knee and then gently start to open the left leg. Again, shifting onto the outer edge of your front foot, coming into galaxy pose. Soften into the hips. Breathe into the sensation. One more breath. Good, and then start to come back onto the left foot. Plant the left hand, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal the feet out a couple times. Good, and then inhale, lift your heels. And as you exhale, wave forward, come to a high plank position. And we'll drop the knees down to the ground. And let's come onto our backs. We'll move into a bridge pose, a little bit of a back bend here. So go ahead and bend your knees, slide your heels all the way towards your glutes, and the heels are gonna plant down right next to your hips. And then from here, go ahead and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So this is a bridge pose. I like to interlace my fingertips and kind of crawl my shoulder blades together on the mat. You can also keep the palms flat on the ground if you prefer that variation. Really use the legs here to lift the hips as high as you can get them. And then see if you can breathe into the abdomen. You might even be able to see the abdomen inflate with each inhale. Take two more breaths. Last breath. And as you exhale, start to lower the spine down to the ground. From here, bring the soles of your feet together and drop your knees open towards the sides of your mat, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. It might feel nice to stack your hands on top of your belly button or even bring one hand to your heart and the other hand towards your belly button. And just let everything relax here for a moment, maybe close the eyes. Take one more breath. Okay, from here, hug the knees into the chest. And we're gonna roll along the length of the mat. So go ahead and bring your hands to the backs of the knees and then roll all the way up to a seated position. We'll land with the legs together. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the ceiling. Gaze up between your hands. And as you exhale, we'll take a forward fold, Paschimottanasana. So you can grab your ankles with your hands. You can grab the sides of your feet. Try and keep your legs straight. So we don't want to compromise bending the knees in order to reach further. It doesn't matter where your hands reach, but focus on keeping the legs as straight as you can. And then once you have your variation, focus on softening the head and the upper body down towards your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold a tiny bit deeper. 
take one more deep breath in and then exhale out. Good. With your next inhale, slowly roll the spine back up. And again, make your way onto your back. Hug your right knee into your chest. With your left hand, go ahead and guide your right knee open to the left side of your body. And then from here, open your right arm towards the right side of your mat and gaze towards your right hand over the right shoulder. This is another pose that I like to close all of the classes that I teach with. It feels really nice on the spine and even the hips. We'll slowly come back to center and switch the legs. So the right leg will be straight towards the top of your mat. Left knee is hugging into the chest. And with the right hand, we'll guide the left knee open to the right side. As you reach your left arm to the left side, looking over the left shoulder. One more breath. And starting to twist back to center. Hug both of your knees into your chest. And this time wrap your arms around your legs. So really squeezing everything together into a tight little ball. And then lift your forehead up to the knees, squeeze even tighter. Really curl the forehead up to the knees. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And this time let it out your mouth. Open up your legs, open up your arms, coming into Shavasana pose. Our final posture of our class today. So you really want to get comfortable here. This pose can look however you would like it to look, whatever feels good in your body. And the main intention here is just to relax and let everything slow back down. You might close your eyes. And just let the breath take you into a place of surrender as you let go. And just enjoy being in stillness here for these last couple moments of our practice together.
start to bring your attention back towards your body, feeling the breath, feeling the whole weight of the body as it rests on your mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Let it out the mouth. Wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your toes. Reach the arms overhead, interlace your thumbs. Take a full body stretch here. Arch your spine. Lift your rib cage. And then hug the knees into the chest. And roll onto either side of your body, coming into a fetal position. And the ear can rest on top of the shoulder. And then at your own pace, start to make your way up to a seated position. You can open the eyes or you can keep them closed for this last part of our practice. Rest your hands on top of your knees. Soften the shoulders. Press the palms together, hands to heart center. And whether this was your first time taking class with me or you're returning to my classes, I just want to acknowledge you for trusting me to guide you through your practice today. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Let's take one last breath together and inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, let go. Namaste, friends. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you're feeling good. If this was one of your first experiences with yoga, let me know how you did in the comments. I'm super curious to hear how you experienced this class. And if you have any other feedback for me or questions or comments, definitely let me know. I always love to hear from you guys in the comments. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want more videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Again, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.